Hey guys, this is Shane and welcome to my Curator of the Lost channel. And today, let's talk about something that you may have seen on books and you may not have known what it is, um, wondered what it was, and it's called foxing. What is foxing? So, um, hey, I appreciate the view. I look forward to your comments and uh, hey, subscribe. And uh, we'll keep doing this, see what happens. So let's just jump right in. This will be, be a short one. So I just bought this book, it was a quarter. At my, my library has a, a bookshelf. Um, you know, with COVID, they're, they're not doing their 25 cent sales. And so they've got a, um, a set of shelves out in the lobby and the books are a quarter. And I found this, this digital signal processing book for a quarter. It's not a high dollar book, but for a quarter, you know, it was a, it was a decent buy. But on the book, there are these spots. And if you look at it, all of these spots all along the edge. And I got thinking, well, this is a classic example of foxing. So before any definitions or what it is, or you go to you know, Google and look up a wiki page on it, if you just want kind of a qualitative you know, uh, view of what it is, this is it. And you'll see this. This is how what we see as booksellers, what we probably see most often on modern books. All of these little spots. Now, it's there's debate on what foxing is. It gets its name because of the reddish color of the spots. And that term was, was coined back like in the 1850, 1848-ish, uh, was when it was originally coined. So that term has been around for 150, 160 years, 170 years. And it's it's because of the red spots, you know, for a fox. Some some people or some you know, notes will, will call foxing, they'll put mold items in there. But the consensus generally is if it's a mold thing, it's, it's not foxing. Foxing a lot of times is attributed. And, and if you read about it, it's, there, it's unclear on whether that they really know what causes it. But the, one of the big, big uh, theories on it is that there is some kind of metal contamination, either from contaminated water in the paper making process it could be uh, from the machines used, you know, in the paper making process, and some of the iron content that's just naturally in wood pulp that's used for for paper making. On older books, you'll you can see foxing as spots all over the pages. Okay, um, you, you can you can see that, but in general, it's it is a attributed to a you know a metal contaminant. It's not harmful. It's not going to spread to other books. It's mainly unsightly. And it's just something as booksellers, you should note. And an easy way to note it in your text, along with you can do a photo, is you can describe it as just say foxing along the leaf edge. And there you have it. This is what it is. There's all the, you know, now if it's mold, it's a different thing. If it's mold, just, you know, just stay away from it. But, um, you know, this type of thing is clearly... It's not something like growing on it like a mold. You can tell very clearly foxing. So there you have it. If you see that, don't be scared away. It's unsightly. You know, some buyers might not want it, but certain editions or older books, it's just something that happens. And people, you know, people will know it's there. But when you describe it, describe it that way. Foxing on the leaf edge. Or if it was, you know, in this case, it's really not on the paper. But if it was, you could say, you know, foxing on end papers or whatever. So there you have it. That's what foxing is. Um, Hopefully you'll find books that don't have foxing, but if you do, don't be scared away from it. Just note it, take a picture, describe it as foxing. That's it. Have a good one. Bye.